Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by and hit that subscribe button while you're here. Today we're going to take a little tour of how things are doing. And uh, finally got some rain and so you have to mow when the rain comes because that means the weeds are going to grow. Now this is what you call a tree. Um, we can't have them coming up in no-till farming fields so... <clears throat> they only grow so big and then they get wiped out because they you know they just can't have trees coming up in their fields <clears throat> making it inconvenient for them you know you have to understand when it comes to my granddad was an organic farmer before that was a word you know because all of them were until some point the family decided to sell out to the chemical company and seed companies and then they robbed them I mean, in so many different ways, robbing their family heirloom seed, destroying their land, you know, um, you know, they used to have their seed and they would take it to the mill and have it cleaned and replant each year. So it didn't cost them anything but the cleaning and the, unless they can clean it themselves, but they just reused their, their seed. That's why the families were proud of their seeds. And as, uh, the people they trusted cross pollinated and robbed them. And, and yet you have to understand if you're a gardener, that's what they're wanting to do to us. They're, they're wanting to genetically modify every seeding plant over the next 20 years. That is their goal. You know, we should learn from the farmers the example of, you know, there's some, you know, they, they're, we, we grow so much GMO. It's not even funny. You know, it was a, an experiment that was never meant to be for people. You know, and it's just because of money, 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 money that it's happening this way. But truly understand what you're eating, who you're supporting. You know, do you want trees? Do you want shade trees on this world anymore? Or do you want to have to pay somebody for a genetically modified one? Because that's all that will grow with all the spray that's flying around. And see, this is, that field's quite a ways from me clear over there, you know. And I got my camera on wide so you can see the garden good, but... It's a ways, but even with this metal wall I put up, the wind was coming this way, of course, so it didn't really matter. But it still drifted clear back here and made all the peas fall off the fence. You know, everything laid over. You can see the videos. It's on my channel. But until we understand what we're doing, we're never going to fix it or make it better. And right now, all these companies are coming in from all over the world because they're being banned everywhere but here. And... uh you know, they don't care about our country. They don't care about our kids getting cancer. They don't care. They don't care, you know. The Supreme Court finally ruled that it's causing cancer. You know, they finally quit taking the payoffs. You know, watch the circle of poison. Listen to President Jimmy Carter about the payoffs. You know, it's to look the other way. Yeah, it's been convenient. But you got to understand, we're back to what I was starting in the original. At some point, like my neighbors down the road when I was growing up with at my granddad's place, they went to spraying, and he suffered from trying to stop them. You know, that's it. Us growers that want to grow good quality food for you are the ones that suffer. I have, my whole family has suffered from these chemicals, different people dying of cancers. You know, it's just ridiculous. Could you, and, you know, because you're trying to get them to stop. or So that's why I leave. You know, I did try and get them to stop before, and then it, had, it hit me in the face. And it feels like it just pops on your face. And it's funny, uh, once, you know, them, them neighbors, when I had them neighbors, they actually were decent enough to come talk to me. But when I told them that, they laughed in my face. You know, spraying me with cancerous chemicals is funny to farmers. It's, it's sick. It's so sick. But you have to understand, once we sold out to these chemical companies, it was to wipe out your neighbor. You know, you can, you can like this field, I think it took him, it should probably only take about two days because he was coming and going. But basically two days versus a half a day if you spray it. So it's less diesel. They can go and farm other ground, you know. And that way they can take over the neighbor's land. Because he can't spray and keep up that way. So it just, it, it just made the farmers gobble up other farmers. It's really sick and sad. You know, just to be rich and have the biggest John Deere and all this bragging rights, you know. It's just, it's so sad. But we need to bring back the small farmers, support organic growers. <clears throat> because they, we don't use spray. They're, I don't use chemicals here. Look, look at all this life we're going to look at. And let's get to looking. 
But anyway, there's there's so much more to the story than what you people are hearing about your food. You need to understand, you know, a lot of people got to die before our government ever moves. And understand the people that are the, the company that makes these chemicals wiped out a whole town where the plant's at. And what our government do, they gave them the land for cheap and let them doze the houses over and put another plant up. Okay, do you think they're going to protect you if they didn't protect a whole town of people? No, they're not. Absolutely not. And that's why we got government agencies suing and, you know, to let it because they're letting them mix all these combinations of chemicals. You know, it's they know it's wrong. They know it's wrong. And it all depends on which rich buddies in the you know president's seat on what's going to happen, what's going to be usable. But if we went organic, we could get away from all that. <clears throat> my my friends that are growing organic they have people calling you know price bidding because they want the organic wheat because that's what people want people are sick of eating cancer we have five countries in this world in the rural areas that have zero cancer read the china study um <clears throat> you know get educated on what's happening shut the dang tv off and uh understand that this is food this is food. Now these are uh, uh, dragon tongue beans. And they really haven't been putting on yet, but hopefully they will soon. Um, but they're looking good. We're going to give them a shot of the Korean farming because they get really dark green when I do that. They just really like that. So anyway, let's go on. This is the regular we chopped down. Kind of covered. Uh, we got some peas here. Uh, Goldfishmen loving them. Some dill. And, uh, boy, look at this guy. He's just happy as heck. Now, this is that curry squash. I can't wait to try one of these. I have not get, gotten to eat one yet, but there, there's our first one. But they're bright red. Um, or smaller squash, but he's stretching out, doing good. But, boy, I had to shade him, and it's been a struggle. It's been, you know, we're in drought. Oh, yeah, looky here. We got some zucchinis going now. Look at that. Some buttes. Oh, yeah. Starting to grow. Oh, here we go. Some little butternuts. Look at that little guy. Alright. So, like I said, I lost everything through here and it's too late to replant. And the carrots, I need this is my winter carrot patch. Um, I should have red, purple, and orange carrots in here. But I need to get in and get some of the weeds out of it. Some more peas. Some more carrots. Uh, this is purple Japanese mustard, very high nutritious nutrition, basil, and then I have, uh, this is uh, horseradish, and this is amaranth, which is a weed the farmers are always trying to kill, it's high nutrition, but this is a red, so it's got your anthocyanins, some cilantro, and a lot of weeds, I, the last video I said I needed to weed this, and I still need to weed this, so hopefully I'll get done. All right. <clears throat> see we got another squash here it's kind of been ill so it's kind of hard to say how it's gonna do but it's coming back since i gave it a shot of the korean farming and i alternate that with and then the, my compost tea so this is beets and carrots i decided to do them together and i've been kind of thin in the beets they're getting to where they're pretty ready but um yeah, it's just amazing. This is just amazing. <clears throat> they outgrew my net, so I had to unnet them, but still, healthy plants. Bugs don't eat healthy plants. Bugs are designed to eat sick plants, so that ought to tell you something about what we're growing in this country. You know, that's the thing. All them chemical companies have made all these promises to the farmers. Oh, less pesticides, all oh, this, less. Since the Civil War, they've been making promises. And it's never been true. Ever, 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 you know. And the chemical companies and John Deere's taking more farms than anybody. But that's who they support the most. It's just kind of nuts. But, you know, it's always the next generation so much smarter than the last, according to the next generation. It's like, whatever. Look at that beautiful yellow chard. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's just beautiful. Now, these are... Uh, Obviously, they do have netted, but which really helps. 
Just some beautiful plants. Let's see, where's, okay, here, here's my new friend right here. So this is bull's blood beet. I tell you, the stock of that is like a sweet celery. So I'm out with the Detroit Reds and going in with the bull's blood, which I have some soaking on the counter. I like to soak mine a few days. So we got some lettuce here. This is a mess right now. Uh, that's that spinach mustard, purple pak choy, which the bugs love, and the lettuces you've heard in my other videos. All right, the cucumbers are finally starting to really put on. And I tell you, I thought they'd climb themselves, but you really got to help them out a little bit. Well, here's a little baby cucumber right there. And uh, let's go look on the other side, see if we, oh, there's one. That would be nice as I don't have to dig around if I can get him to hang. Only problem is, like this guy, he's trying to get through the chicken wire, and then he'll he'll ruin him. Like this guy, see how he's stuck in the chicken wire? So, ugh, I can't get him out. He's going to be lunch. Oh, there we go. I got him out. That's the only downfall I see. There's a nice fat one, too. I need to pick cucumbers. That's one thing when cucumbers, they start coming on, they come on quick. And especially with rain, we got like two or three inches of rain. But yeah, check this guy out. See how he's just hanging. Need to pick him. <clears throat> That's what we want to see. So this is pretty much done. This was one of my salad groups. I need to chop all this red down. It's <clears throat> and I've ate most all the rest of it. And then it was that succession over there I'm eating on now. And then... And then this one's kind of grown faster than I can eat it. So there's romaine hiding back behind there. And boy, look at the weeds. These are chives. And then these are some more carrots in through here. And I got a bean plant, a sweet potato plant here. And a marigold coming up. Nice. <coughs> okay, so this is sugar baby watermelons. There's a little guy there. He's coming on. I've seen a bunch of them. Where are they? Oh, here's a little guy. So they're doing good. I have a guy in town already hunting for them. It's like, where's the watermelons? A melon on this guy. And these are cantaloupes. And I don't know. I haven't... They just ain't putting on a whole lot, but hopefully they'll start. So I'm not seeing too many i got one at the end you've seen in the other videos but anyway something else if you're uh, like me and you live near farmers their newest thing that i like to tell you is that, oh we're just spraying fertilizer well when it kills all the weeds in the field no i mean i can't believe they just lie so much it's so sick and sad i mean my granddad was an honest man so was most of these people's parents. But anyway, check out that cantaloupe. That one looks beautiful. <clears throat> 25 years of just excuses and oh, it don't do this, it don't do that. I nearly died. It's like, it's sad. You, you, you know, you want to trust the people that grow your food, but you just can't. So we got sweet potatoes coming. I've been burying them in the straw. This is a mulberry I need to trim up. See them. I need to lay more straw over top of them. Trying that this year, see how they, they work out. But they're doing pretty good. I probably need another shot. Now here's another water baby watermelon. Um, should be another sugar baby. And, uh, and, and I'll be shooting a video soon. I found a jug on my property of chemicals. And they, there's a label right on every jug. All they got to do is read it. And I know they can because they all went to college to be brainwashed that it's all safe. So here's my onions that's left. Got a few growing still. None of the big monsters, but um, just waiting for these to finish out. Plus, I love the fresh greens. I'll go ahead and chop some of them up and put them in the freezer for soups. This is the bed that's empty. So I was going to put broccoli and cauliflower in it, but I don't know. I think I'm just going to let it rest. I don't know. It's just I got... Got too busy and um, I'm out of time. So that's the, the big biggest tough. So here's some red chard. It's looking pretty. Some basil and this is purple basil. So 
So I think that's about it on this video. I'm going to be thinning the beets soon. And boy, look at this flower. You tell me natural farming. It looks like something sat down in the middle of it. I think something did. Wow, that's, or I don't know, that's weird. It was all together. But anyway, between the compost tea and the Korean farming, this thing just went crazy. And it's just exploding. I wonder, oh, maybe that windstorm must have messed with it a little bit. But it's went nuts. Same thing with these these here. I don't know. They were supposed to be lavender. That's what the package said. But I don't know what they are. You can recognize them. Um, let me know. They're, uh, I got this purple flower on them. And everybody asks, I don't know. I don't smell anything. But anything, anyway, this is what the leaves look like. And some people say it looks like a mint leaf. So I'm not sure what I have. But the pollinators love it, and it spreads pretty good, so I've been putting it here and there, and and uh, going to try and grow a wall for shade for next year, maybe, since it gets so tall. We'll see. It may become a big noxious weed. Let's see if we got a bean in here before we close out. Super long video this time. If you're still there with me, you know, give me a thumb up or down, and uh, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you share my videos. Um, the only one that's going to help is yourself. You know, you can only help you, you know, and you can help your friends by letting them know and they may not give, give a care. You know, like some people, the other day I had a guy tell me, nope, nope, I only eat steak and potatoes. Well, 600,000 of us die each year from heart disease. Um, we closed down the whole world for 250,000 dying, God rest their souls. From a you know what so come on come on over 500,000 from cancer let's let's uh let's look what's really happening you know what was happening before all this started going on everybody's being sued because of what they were doing to us now they're going to be our saviors i don't think so i don't think so only you can save yourself so even if you're in an apartment you know what i say grow some microgreens um, you can search my channel name and microgreens and most of them should pop up most of my videos on how to grow and the different things i've tested many different growing medias so if you don't have land to grow on you can grow you some fresh greens that's what i do through the winter i will be doing videos all through this winter i think we're going to set up a mobile microgreen since i can't um, find a new place right now um, I think we're just going to try it in a trailer. We'll see how that works out. Make sure you subscribe and join the journey of growing your own food in the chemical wasteland. Grow, grow something worth eating because you're worth it.